Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the class. This is Genesis training videos and I'm your trainer Mohan Raj. So as I told you in the last class, I told you next video is about finding HCF and LCM with a shortcut. So let's see what is there in this, what is the shortcut we are talking about. First let us understand what is HCF. HCF stands for highest common factor. There is another name for HCF which is greatest common divisor because factor is nothing but divisor so we can also call this as gcd remember this right so and we have least common multiple or lowest common multiple which is lcm so let us consider the number 12 and 18 so what are the factors of 12 and 18 we are looking at factors of 12 1 2 3 4 6 12 and factors of 8 is 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 common factors are 1 and i have 3 2 and then 6. In that highest among them is 6. That is highest common factor. Similarly, multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36 and all till goes to infinity. So there are infinite multiples and multiples of 18 also goes to infinity. Let us look at the common multiple eight, uh, 12 and 18. The common multiple is 36, 72, 108, 144 till infinity. So the I can see the lowest one is 36 but it is a tedious process to find HCF LCM in this way so better what I will do is I will go for 12 as prime factorization 3 power 1 and 18 as 2 power 1 into 3 power 2 now finding the HCF we need to look at only the common factor with the lowest power if there is common 2 power 2 is there 2 power 1 is there I take the lowest power 3 power 1 is there 3 power 2 is there I take the lowest power this is HCF LCM is 2 power 2 into 3 power 2 which is 36 and we should also make another observation when we multiply 12 into 18 we get 216 when we multiply 6 into 36 then also we get 216 so what is the observation for any two numbers a and v their product will be equal to product of its and LCM this will be useful in some questions where they might miss one number, they ask you the number, they might give you HCF and LCM. And this works only for two numbers. So this formula will not work for more than two numbers. So remember that. So let us go to the next examples now. Find the HCF of 56, 84, 32. Let us prime factor as this. This is 7 8 sir. So 2 cube into 7 power 1. And 84 is actually 21 4 sir. So it is 2 power 2 into 3 power 1 into 7 and 32 always we know that 2 power 5. So what is the HCF? HCF means we are talking about really common factors. 2 is common in all of them and the lowest power of 2 is 2 power 2. So HCF of this number is simply 4. Let's look at the next one. 420 and 1782. So what is 420? 420 I can imagine that as uh, I can prime factor as it by 4 it's a multiple of 4 so I go for 2 square 4 1 not 5 so and this can be written as 15 7 so so it is 3 into 5 into 7 so I can imagine 420 as 2 square into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 into 7 so how to prime factor is 1782 now. Again we are going for multiple of 4. So eight plus, I can also think about 3 if it is a multiple of 3. 7 plus 1 8. 8 plus 8 16. 16 plus 2 9. Um, 8 and 18. So it is a multiple of 9 as well. I will go for 9 now. So 9. How many times? 9. 1s are 9. I can go for 9. 19 are 171. And 9. 8s are 72. So again, I can go for 98 means 2, 99s. So this can be written as 3 square into 11. So I can write 1782 as 2 power 1 into 3 power 4. Right? So but into 11, whereas HCF they are asking, HCF is only common power. 2 power 1 I can take and 3 power 1 I can take. HCF is simply a 6. 
let's say for this number is simply 6. So any big number we can try and factorize, we have practiced it. So using that we can find the HCF faster. Let's go for next one. Find the HCF of 210, 495 and 980. So 210, 495 and 980. So let's say 210, I can divide by 2, it's going to be 1 out 5. And you know this is 15, 7 is 3, 5 and 7. Similarly, 495, it's a multiple of 5, I go for 5. 5 nines are 45, 5 nines are 45, and this can be done as 3 square root to 11. 980 is a multiple of 4, I go for 4, so 2 square, 4 2 is a 8, 4 4 is a, 4 2 is a 8, I have 18 left out, so 4 4 is a 16, 4 5 is a 20, so again I have 5 now, 5 4 is a 20, 5 nines are this is going to be 7 square. So what I am going to write, it has prime factorization, 210 is 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 into 7 power 1, whereas 495 is actually 3 square into 5 power 1 into 11 power 1 and 980 can be written as 2 square and 7 square and 5 power 1. So what is common in all of them is, I can see 3 is there here and I don't see 3 here. So I cannot take 3, I can take 5 power 1 only. So even 7 is not there in all of them. So HCF of this number is simply 5. So even after doing all of these, I can see only 5 common in all of them. So that is why the answer is 5. Let's look at 30, 42 and uh, 105. 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. This 42 is actually 7, 6 are. So 2 into 3 into 7. And 1 out 5 is, we know this already, we came across this number, 3 into 5 into 7. So HCF is going to be the number which is common to all of them. So I can see 3 in all of them, not in even 5. The HCF of this number is simply 3. Let's talk about LCM now. LCM is exactly opposite, right? 48 can be written as 16 3 is a 2 power 4 into 3. 72 is actually 9 8 is a, which is 2 power 3 into 3 square. And 140, 140 can be split as 2 into 70, which is 2 into 7 into 5. So I can write it as 2 square into 7 into 5. So what I can see is LCM will be the number which is common to all of them, its highest power which is 2 power 4 and not common to them also we should take 5 into 7. So what I get is 16 7 is a, so this number we have to multiply. So we are going to get 9 5 is a 45 into 16. 7s are. So we have 102. 112, sorry. So you can multiply them again, whatever the product you are getting, that's the answer. So you can try that, the answer later. Let's go to the next one. Find the LCM of this number. 108 is actually 36 threes are. So I can imagine this as 27 fours are. You can also imagine that as 27 fours are. So 27 is. 3 cube into 2 square whereas 135 so 135 I see in table of 15 so 15 nines are 135 so 15 means 1 3 3 cube 27 3 is it is 27 5 is up and also I have 162 so 162 we have to prime factorize 2 into 81 which is actually 3 power 4 so I can write it as 162 as 3 power 4 into 2. So what I get here is LCM is going to be 3 power, highest power of 3 is 3 power 4 and 2 cube, uh, 2 power 2 and 5 power 1. So we don't have to worry about what is the exact answer. Even if you want to get this, it is 81 into 20 which is 1620. 
let's say LC. So finally coming to the fraction, how to find HCF and LCM of fractions. So let us see the numerator separately and denominator separately. So the numerator is 1, 1, 3, 4 and denominators are 3, 2, 7, 11. So I need to write a small table to make it easy. Numerator, denominator, HCF, LCM. So let us see what is the numerator HCF. Numerator is HCF, we have prime numbers, so HCF is going to be 1 and uh, LCM of the denominator is also going, HCF of the denominator is also going to be 1. So whereas LCM is going to be 3 into 4, 12, whereas this LCM is going to be product of all this, 6, 11 into 6, 66 into 7. So which is actually our number 4. 62. So what is the HCF of the fraction? HCF of the fraction is HCF of the numerator divided by LCM of the denominator. So in that way it is going to be 1 by 462. And what is the LCM? LCM is LCM of the numerator divided by HCF of the denominator. So which is going to be 12 by 1. So our answer is HCF is 1 by 462 and LCM is so that is the end of this video. Let us see some special problems in HCF and LCM in the next video. Thank you.